Alright guys, what's going on? We're back for another set. Uh, we had a pretty epic three game set with some uh, top three force fields most of the time, I would say. Um, but uh, this time we got a ZVP here. Um, so let's get into it. Alright, here we are on Muspelheim with a brand new set in the uh, bottom left or right position we have our random player trombone ham spawning as protoss and in the top left position we have our orange zerg player scuba that's right finally i get to see some zerg games seems like almost all these games lately have been protoss versus protoss and i mean i well, do enjoy them but <laughs> Well, that's what happens when we have a uh, team dominated by Protoss players. Scuba's saying that he messed up his split and that's going to cost him the game. If it does, you know what, I, I may donate a game to him. If it does. Clearly, <laughs> make him lose the game. Ah, uh, it doesn't. The split's not that big a deal. You can ask Destiny when he used to play StarCraft. He can tell you that there's a whole list of things that he can do in that four seconds rather than split his drones. That's right. So it looks like Trombone's dropping down the uh, pylon at the uh, the natural standard just to get the uh, Forge Fast Expand, it looks like. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, and the nice thing about this map, he could possibly even Nexus first on this and then just full wall to be safe, and then when he wants to move out, just kill the destructible debris. And, yeah. The one advantage of this map, even though there is no ramp, you have the option with the full wall. Yeah. I do enjoy that. Um, I don't remember if it's going on now, but the Protoss used to have their Nexus just making a little wall and drop like a cannon in the mineral line. And that seemed a pretty interesting way to go, but you're leaving your Nexus pretty vulnerable, I think, when you're doing that. Yeah. Uh, there are a few maps where I prefer it that way. Um, that one being Antigua, which I don't really play on. Um, so Scuba deciding to hatch first, and uh, Trombone's going to scout it. He's even getting a little of that pro-level pro-mineral harass. Yeah, dropping the spawning pool too. Spawning pool's down, and the gas is going down as well. Um, Overlord's going to come in and scout. Uh, I'm not going to see much. See the no gas are down. Um, yeah, and Trombone? Trombone opted for Nexus expand. first. Um, he should probably bring his probe back um, here in a little bit to do some secondary scouting, make sure there's no early gas, um, and check the third timing. Which, of course, we know that there is gas for Scuba, but as a Protoss player, that's something you always want to be checking up on is gas timings for Zerg. Because if, usually, if there's one down before six minutes, you know something aggressive is coming. Yeah, that's right. Um, or it could be a lot of teching. It depends on how the player is going to play it as well. Um, mm -hmm. If he's going to go to quick layer, maybe he'll he'll grab that second gas a little bit earlier. But normally, you're right. He is going to do something aggressive, whether it be like roaches or going to quick meters or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, what what I want to see when he gets to a hundred to see if he pulls drones just for his metabolic boost, or no, it looks like he's just going to mine straight gas. Hasn't started speed yet, though. So we'll have to see when that gets started, or if it gets started. He may just go for a straight roach bush, which could be interesting. Mm-hmm. He did transfer drones down. I don't know if that was another deceptive thing to make it look like that he's mining or what's going on. Oh, links get into Trombone's mineral line running right by... The cat. Did he get by? I wasn't looking at the wall to see how he got in. Yeah, he did get in. And that cannon was not finished yet. So, I mean, these these slings are going to be very annoying. And, I mean, you get you get people who rage just because you got a few slings into their base and they mm -hmm. have to deal with them for however well, long even it if, takes to get a zealot out. Yeah, well, as Protoss, even with just slings up in your base, like, even if they don't kill anything, they can just be super annoying because you have to... Uh, Pull probes and it throws off all of your timings. 
That's exactly right. And he's gonna he may get a few pro kills here and there, but overall these links aren't gonna win him the game outright. Unless yeah. I mean trombone just has no micro at all. And uh decides yeah, links... to miss a force field, I guess you could say. <laughs> yeah, links do get cleaned up. Scoob had some really nice little micro there pulling the hurt one back to buy a little bit of time to get another attack in. Um it looks like Scuba is going to get aggressive. Roach Warren's down. He's still only on one gas and he's not taking his third yet. That's right. He has been consistently mining from that as well. So he has never pulled drones off. It's been consistent. So. Mm -hmm. And he comes out with a huge overlord. Uh, I want to say swell. Might not be the right word. Sorry. Old like new a gaggle. Uh, like so gaggle. he can just supply up to uh, try to flood Roaches. Yeah, that third did come down as well. Um, so we'll see. Yeah, it's highly delayed though. Um, yeah, we'll have to see. I mean, the roaches are moving out across the map. Um, I mean, I don't know what what they can do with that cannon up front and this. I mean, it's kind yeah, of yeah. There's two centers for there. force fields. Immortals getting ready to pop out. Um, Trombone should be throwing down. Uh, Two, uh, three more gateways. Um, my personal preference for PVZs is four gate before Robo, unless you're mortal censuring. He may so we'll be able see. To pull Roach come in, and he's just going to snipe down the cannon. Yep, there it goes. And unfortunately, Trombone just used all his force fields on trying to push the Roaches back. Um, warp gate's almost done, but I think. Trombone. I think the damage has almost been done. With sniping oh, that, the I mean, immortals, the immortal. The immortal's yeah. out. If he can force field. Alright, he gets the force field down. Um, Scuba pulling back. Okay, snipes down the gateway. Snipes is working on focusing down the forge. And Trombone's being forced to pull probes. The immortal's not attacking. Yeah, and Scuba can just kite those here. probes. Although, I mean, it doesn't seem like Scuba's been droning all that hard. I mean, it's, I mean, Trombone still has 37 probes to his, uh, the 31 now. I mean, he's, now he's starting to drone, but yeah. and it seemed like a pretty, pretty even there for a minute. And then, I mean, just the droning. Yep. And Trombone warping in centuries, which is a good call. Just pop it, or just pumping, um... Immortals and sentries, and he can just and Scuba's going all in on this roach aggression. Yeah, it's not even droning from his third; it's just all used for roaches. And they don't—he has no lair, so with no speed, it's yeah. going to take him longer to get down there. He doesn't well, even have link speed. That. Yeah, there's no speed on on anything. I mean, yeah, if you, you link pop speed's, a lair. link speed's on its way, but it's not going to be done for another sixty seconds. And again, Trombone just has force fields and immortals, so he can just chop this army to bits and destroy it. There's three immortals on the field. All the links are trapped behind. And yeah. I just don't know. I mean, he, there we go. There's a huge swell of links going to come in, but with the speed being a little over halfway done, it's going to be a question of can you hit the force fields right so that your sentries don't get taken out? I mean, if, mm -hmm. if your sentries get taken out, then your immortal gets surrounded by lings. I mean, that's pretty much game. Yep. And trombones, three more gates coming down, so he's up to six gateways. Robo's still pumping immortals. There's four immortals out on the field now. And I think Scuba needs to go home and tech up because he can't afford to just throw units into this wall of death that Trombone has. Yeah, he has a ton of lings, a ton of lings. And I mean, if those get force fielded out, they're, they're basically useless. Mm-hmm. And Trombone's got, what is he up to? 10 centuries, so he just has force fields for days. The lings do get by, but he decides, they do get to, a pretty surround, good surround he decides well. to surround the army instead of run for the minerals. And he's going to do a lot of damage. Um, and Trombone... Messing up, he accidentally force fields his immortals into the line of fire momentarily before finally splitting it up. But he's and already that lost. Is about to be done, yeah. which is lost pretty big. One immortal. Yep, Lair's done. Uh, Evo chambers are down, so Scuba can hopefully start pumping uh, 
pumping upgrade spires down, so he's going to try a uh, muta transition, which but could be issue, smart he only because has the amount of drones. Now he's starting to drone. There we go. With mm -hmm. 35 drones, I mean, you know, I mean, what are you going to switch into three mutas? I mean, that's not going to do a whole lot. No, no. I think even I think even the amount of centuries, the nine centuries, could probably just tickle three mutas to death. I can't even imagine what a mutalist being tickled sounds like. I bet Day Nine has an impression for that as well. Day Nine's got an impression for everything. So he he got the the double evos, but he doesn't have he's not doing any upgrades at all. He's yep. he has the lair, and he, yep. he's getting a spire, but he's not getting. But trombone, trombone saying heck with this. I'm gonna go out and do some damage. He's got five immortals, nine century warp prisms on the way. Um, oh warp prisms out. I was looking at units tab, not production. So he's just gonna warp in another round of units. He's got he's up to eleven centuries, so he just has force fields infinitely. Um, yeah, you see some are about spine even, but... Down too, but I mean, what's a spine crawler gonna do to a, an immortal? Almost close to nothing. Those things take out buildings almost as fast as reapers. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's just it's not looking good. Um, like with the amount of force fields, zealots warping up into the third. Um, Scuba's army is just gonna be pretty much useless at this point. Yeah. You know, Even what, without it, really gonna be able good to force that fields third. going down, causing the roaches to go around, but like, oh, trapping more of them in. Um, yeah, like, Scuba can't go anywhere near this force. Yeah, he's gonna try to push down into that, the natural, and I think once he moves on from there, it's, it's pretty much game. He, he has enough to take out all of this. He's dropping good force fields here, um, separating Split almost half of them. Splitting the army, those immortals are just tearing a huge strip in absolutely everything. Yep, and there's, Spines there go goes. down, and now he's just gonna walk into the natural, pretty much uncontested, because what's five, what's five roaches and two lings gonna do against that much? Muta's coming out, and again, they're just gonna See get all the immediately tickle melted. going to work. I wonder how many of those mutas got killed by the sentries. That would be interesting to know. But that is game. There's a seven kill sentry in that army. You know what? That sentry deserves a bonus. But uh, that was a good game. I enjoyed it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, very good game. Good hold by uh, Trombone and then making the right decision once he got up to that critical mass of Immortals, knowing it was up against Roach Heavy, of just bringing the hammer down. That's right. Once you see, I mean, he should have been droning so much harder from the start. Because, I mean, if he had popped the mutas out early, he maybe have had a chance. But he was just so well, low even, on drones. Even remembering something. link speed, I think early link speed would have made a difference. Yeah, but that could help too. Fast. All right, so we're going to take a quick break and come back with game two.